you're new around here, my name is Jack. In this channel, I talk about personal finance, adulting, and self-improvement. And today in this video, let's talk about the best investments that you could have during the time of life emergencies. Okay, first let's define life emergency. So yung mga kakonsider natin life emergency dito is yung pagka nagkasakit ka, in hospital ka, yung naaksidente ka, or kaya naman pagka nawalan ka ng job, or lastly, wag naman sana, but if you died. Okay, products that comes into my mind are HMO, PhilHealth, health insurance, and life insurance. So what are these products? Okay, first let's start with HMO or Health Maintenance Organization. So this one, these are private organizations that gives uh, healthcare insurance to its members. So this one, this acts as a middleman between healthcare providers and its patient members. So HMO grants access sa network nila of uh, doctors, hospitals, dentists, and clinics dun sa mga patient members nila. So, hindi sa lahat ng hospital applicable yung HMO mo only to do sa accredited hospitals and clinics. So, one of the primary benefits of being an HMO member is yung outpatient care nila. So, this one, this allows you to have pre-checkups, consultations, and laboratory tests. So, ito, isa to sa mga kasama sa binayara mo for being a member of an HMO. Other benefits that you could get from being a part of an HMO are the following. So, basahin ko na lang. Inpatient care such as hospitalization, operating room, and recovery room, professional fees, etc. Emergency care, professional fees, hospital bills, emergency room, medicines for treatments, etc. Preventive care, annual physical exam, immunizations, etc. I use yung article ng greet.ph as my reference for this video. If you want to know more about HMO, you need to read details such as how to be a member, disadvantages and advantages. You may check the link in the description box down below. Next is PhilHealth or Philippine Health Insurance Corporation. So this one naman, this is a state-owned health insurance provider natin. So they aim to give uh, low-cost health insurance for every Filipino. So I think budget-friendly na health insurance for everyone. So I guess yung tanong dito is what are the benefits of being a contributing member of PhilHealth? So based on their website, they have four categories of their benefits such as uh, inpatient benefit, outpatient benefit, Z benefits, and SDG-related benefits. So summarize na lang natin. So una muna inpatient benefit. So for this one, ito yung pag na-confine ka. Pag na-confine ka kasi you'll have a lot of hospital charges and professional fees from your doctors. So what PhilHealth does is they need deduct niya yung mga fees na yun and charges na yun. So it's really, really, really a big help pagka meron kang fill head, especially pag na-confine ka. Second benefit nila is outpatient benefit nila. So for this one naman, uh, they provide for yung mga one-day surgeries where they discharge ka din within the day. O kaya naman yung mga blood transfusion. O kaya naman yung chemotherapy for your cancer treatment. O kaya naman yung dialysis for your blood treatment. So if you want to know yung full details, just check the website and link them down below. Third on the list is yung Z benefits nila. So for this one, ito yung medyo critical illnesses such as leukemia, prostate cancer, and breast cancer. If you want to know yung pinaka whole details sa mga illnesses na pinapabride ng Z benefits, you could check them in their website. Lastly is yung SDG related. So for this one, they have yung uh, for malaria package, HIV AIDS package, anti-TB package, voluntary surgical contraception. Ito yung para hindi na kayo magkaanak. And lastly, animal bite packages. So how I see the difference ng HMO and PhilHealth based from my experience and experience ng mga people around me. So HMO usually ginagamit lang to for checkups, consultations, and laboratory tests. While yung uh, PhilHealth, uh, it's a huge deduction pag ka hospital ka, pag na-confine ka. But hindi naman lahat nakakover ng PhilHealth. So parang nagde-deduct lang sila. So sometimes yung HMO mo, nagpaprovide pa din. Somehow, hang kung ano yung max limit nun. So yung dalawang product na yun goes really hand in hand. So, magandang pinagsasama to. So, magandang meron ka ng both products na to. Third on my list are health insurance provided by the life insurance companies or most commonly known as yung critical illness insurance natin here in the Philippines. So, ito, sinasagot na nito yung mga sakit na nakapagpahirap talaga or nakabawin sa inyo sa utang. So, one common example dito is yung heart bypass surgery. So, yung heart bypass surgery here in the Philippines costs us around 700,000 to a million Okay naman yung mga cancer treatment natin, okay naman brain surgery. So itong mga to hindi na kaya to ng HMO lang and PhilHealth lang. So what you need are the big guns which are yung critical illness insurance natin provided by the life insurance companies. The good news is if you insure yourself at a younger age, let's say 20s, okay naman early 30s, you could probably score an affordable health insurance that could cost you a lifetime. For example, pagka parang gusto mo insure yung critical illness mo at a million, you could probably score an insurance that could cost you parang 50,000 annual for 10 years and insured ka na at a million. So yun, so uh, please, please, please uh, use your age wisely and take advantage of your age if you're still at a younger age. 
Lastly, let's talk about life insurance and emergency fund. So, una muna, uh, life insurance. So, if you're a provider of family, for example, you're a parent and you have kids, o kaya naman breadwinner ka and you're providing for your family, I highly, highly encourage you to get yourself a life insurance kasi you don't really know what will happen next. And if something happens to you, wag naman sana, di ba? Uh, your family or yung pinaprovidan mo still needs to live. And it's your duty to provide for them. And paano pag wala ka na, di ba? Parang, how how could they how could you provide for them so that's where uh, life insurance comes in so if you're a provider for your family i highly highly encourage yourself to get yourself insured last but not the least is an emergency fund so for this one this is not an investment product what it is is you just have to save at least three to six months worth of your monthly expenses so why is this important it is important because it allows you to survive an emergency for example na wala ng trabaho or bigla na wala ng source of income what it does is it allows you to survive for the meantime while you have to look for another job okay that's it for this video i hope i was able to provide you with some sort of uh, value especially in these times of uncertainty so yun lang if you appreciate the video please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you appreciate my content. That's it. See you in the next videos. Bye-bye!